So what in the world is this oddly shaped piece of copper doing in this Murray load center? And does it have anything to do with this green screw in this Siemens load center? As a clue, I'll loosen up this green bonding screw in the Murray load center and I'll turn it toward the neutral bar. Notice that it fits into one of the large terminals on the neutral bar. The next thing I'll do is check this sticker that is found on the inside of the panel door. And on that sticker there's a chart. And here we have neutral and equipment ground bar. So we just put that piece of copper into the neutral ground bar. And we put it to a large terminal. And that piece of copper that we just put in the large terminal is between 1 aught and 6 AWG. So we see here that it is to be tightened to 45 pound inch. So I'll set my Weha Torx screwdriver to 45 pound inch and tighten it till it clicks. So what is this part called anyway? It is a bonding strap with screw. And this particular one is made by Eaton because Eaton uh, uses these in some of their load centers as well. And so that's what it's called, bonding strap. This is the neutral lug. And do you notice how it's raised up off of the metal body of the box? This is the neutral bus bar, or commonly we just call it the neutral bar. And do you notice that it is also elevated off of the surface of the panel? When the bonding strap is not connected to the neutral bar, then the neutral is completely isolated electrically from the equipment grounding conductor, or as we would generally say, from the ground. So if the bonding strap is not connected to the neutral bar, then the neutral and the ground are isolated electronically. Let's say we would like to add a main disconnect where the blue arrow is, and that this will be the first disconnect in our electrical system. In that case, we would need to bond the ground and the neutral in this panel. So we would connect the bonding strap to the neutral bar in this panel. If we wanted to use this panel as a sub panel, then we would need to keep the neutrals and the grounds separate. So our bonding strap would not be connected to the neutral bar or better yet, we would remove the bonding strap to prevent any accidental bonding of the neutrals and the grounds. So how does this green screw in the Siemens load center relate to the bonding strap in the Murray load center? The green screw is called a bonding screw and it has the same function as the bonding strap, but it's activated in a different way. On the Siemens panel, the bonding screw comes attached, but not screwed in. On some brands of load centers, the bonding screw will come in a little plastic bag and you have the option of installing it or not. If you'd like to add a main disconnect to this load center and use it as a main panel, and this panel is then your system's first disconnect, then you will need to screw in the green bonding screw. To do that, we'll first look at the sticker on the inside of the panel. It says bonding screw 45 pound inches. Since 45 pound inches is the exact same setting as for the Murray bonding strap, I won't have to change the setting on my Weha Torx screwdriver. Once again, tighten until you hear the click. So what happens in this load center when this bonding screw is screwed down? Well, this is your neutral lug right here. So your neutral feeder or your neutral overhead service conductor comes in and attaches right here. So this is a neutral bar and see there's a strap going across here from this neutral bar to this neutral bar. And this strap is made of copper and it's plated with tin. So it goes from here to here, and so these are electrically connected. Now, if you screw down this bonding screw, it bonds very well to the metal enclosure. And thus, your neutrals and your grounds are bonded together. 
An important point if you're going to be placing this box on a solid surface is that this screw needs to be torqued prior to installation of the box because you see it does stick out from the bottom of the enclosure and that can affect your torquing. You can think that it's torqued all the way but it's just hitting on a solid surface. And once again, it would be my suggestion to remove this bonding screw from this panel if you're not gonna use it to bond the neutrals in the grounds. If you leave it loose, it will not bond your neutrals and your grounds, but it might be inviting to a do-it-yourselfer to tighten that down because he'd look at it and say, oh, this screw is loose, it needs to be tightened down, and then he'd mess up your grounding and bonding. When these bonding devices are properly used, they are called main bonding jumpers. Here's a meter socket enclosure with a service disconnect. And here is another example of a main bonding jumper. It comes built in. It connects the neutral lug to the equipment grounding conductor. Here we are at NEC 2020 250.24B, main bonding jumper for a grounded system, an unspliced main bonding jumper shall be used to connect the equipment grounding conductor or conductors and the service disconnect enclosure to the grounded conductor within the enclosure for each service disconnect in accordance with 250.28. Grounded conductor in that article refers to the neutral. So I hope that helps you to understand the differences and similarities between bonding straps and bonding screws and what a main bonding jumper is. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.